Welcome back. So, we have a lot of parts here. Amanda, what do we have? We got a delivery today, a very big crate of the fuselage. We sure did. Yeah, and you'll see there's a little bit of crate damage. Um, he did note it uh, when we signed for it, but I don't think there's going to be any damage. I'm hoping. Um, there's a couple of little boxes in here I'm curious to open. Um, we'll only find out if there's any damage by unpacking the thing. So Amanda's already agreed. I'm going to go kick back inside, have a few cold ones, and she is going to um, get to inventory and uh, unpacking things. So anyways, get to it. No way. <laughs> Oh, there was a tennis shot that came in with the kit. Alrighty, real quick. She just went inside. This may be a fail video. Uh, I totally did not account for the size of this big, huge thing here. I figured we'd be able to easily scoot it inside the house through a doorway. I don't think that's going to happen, judging by the height here. So we're going to try to bring it vertical and walk it around. I don't know. We're going to find out. We got this. She's positive. I'm a little bit negative. But... <laughs> Attempt number two. Front door has been removed. Not the security door, but the inside door. That should buy us the extra inch or so in width clearance. Hopefully. We made it! Oh my god! We made it! <laughs> we got into the house! No way! Alright. We made it. It's in the house. Now to put the door back on. My positivity was not misplaced. See? Never doubted it for a second. Okay, maybe once, but. Alrighty, fuselage inventory is officially done. Um, so you'll see here I have it, at least for now, put away with the same sub kits of what they came in. Uh, just didn't want to spend too much time separating parts, um, especially because I still have all the wing parts sitting right over there. So as things um, get done on the wings, I'll move things over, I'll probably do a little bit of reorganization because it's a little bit of a hot mess right now, but pretty much just kept the original sub kits uh, where they were, just labeled the shelf here, put those together up, up top is multiple sub kits uh, wrapped together. Um, so. We'll probably reorganize this in the future, uh, but for now this will work. Um, as far as inventory goes, I did have either mislabeled parts or, for instance, um, JJ on Slack, thanks for uh, giving me the heads up on that one, but um, he had told me about bag 1303. They just sent the wrong rivets. Uh, they were supposed to be dash 4.5 rivets. Uh, they sent dash 5. So things like that. A couple of uh, small vinyl pieces missing, an entire bag of parts missing. I forget which bag number it was. Um, and then a couple of mislabeled uh, parts uh, where the label would just be like one letter or one number off where I looked online and it looks like the right part, like maybe they just had the wrong label maker uh, when they were making part labels. But anyway, sent all that over to Vans, uh, waiting on a response from them there. Um, but I did get a response um, about issues I'm having with parts. Or not, uh, not issues I'm having, but issues that I'm a little bit concerned about. So um, during the inventory process, I saved you, or editing this video, I saved you from me rambling about basically every part here that's not covered in bluing material. I didn't know what was going on with them. So I already heard back from Vans. So I can kind of give you the summed up explanation that I received from them. Um, but every single, um, piece, every single part that's not covered in bluing material um, sounds like it's a laser cut and it's not punched. So during that laser cut process, a lot of them end up with these burn marks or a little bit of spatter on them or um, jagged holes where part or the, uh, the tooling path where it must enter and exit. And it's hard to get on camera, but literally every hole, or maybe not literally, maybe 95% of holes that are cut on here, uh, whether it's the, the smaller, uh, smaller holes or the eighth inch rivet holes, they all have, uh, for the most part, they all have that entry exit notch. And the reason why I'm concerned about it is I know on, you see that on Facebook or, or Vans Air Force, wherever, um, it sounds like people are having issues with these cracking when you go to dimple them. Um, and the reason why it's an issue, why you can't just take a reamer through it, is these are already final size. So if I take a reamer to any of these holes right now, 
I could slip it through by hand and not grab that notch where it has that tooling entry exit path. So they had responded back uh, to my email saying, um, they basically explaining their laser cut parts and that if the notch is of a concern where I have those, and I'll, I'll post a picture somewhere on the screen here, because uh, the camera does not like to focus up close, um, but this was the, the best one I can get the camera to focus on. Uh, but what he had explained to me is that if I'm concerned about the holes, I can take a jeweler's file to them and file out, literally file out the notch on every single hole before dimpling. Um, so not sure if other builders are having issues uh, with their parts cracking or not on the 10, but it's kind of concerning because they're with the fuselage kit. There's a lot of a lot of silver here, a lot of silver going on. So that's going to be a lot of work because that's not just taking a little um, deburring tool to it and just running the the quick little deburring tool through it. That's sitting there with a jeweler's file, a little very very thin file, and filing each one. So that's going to be a pain. So. I'm not sure if it's gonna be as big of an issue um, as I'm thinking it's gonna be. So if you're building a tent and you have these parts and you're not having issues, please let me know. Settle my fears. Uh, but if not, this is very interesting because uh, it, it also looks like uh, some of these parts are made laser cut and some are punched um, at the same time. So I have some parts where it's a left part and it's punched, but the right part associated with it um, has a similar manufacture date is laser cut. Uh, so they must just be really cranking these out and which is kind of luck of the draw if you end up with a laser cut part Because uh, again, they all have it and hopefully I can get this to focus on camera here. I can't uh, But anywho, uh, that's of slight concern. The other part of concern I had uh, Was with the crate. Yes, yeah, so the other concern that I had uh, was in regards to the cabin top here So uh, when we received the crate it did have damage on the crate where something was placed on top the top part was pretty much off and just resting inside of the crate at the time of arrival and with it resting inside um, you can see where things were rubbing on the top of the fiberglass canopy uh, some small little nicks here um, but nothing as far as like looking around everything does look great on it I sent photos to vans they were did not seem to be concerned they said it's uh, um, this likely was from shipping where this was laying on or something was laying on top of it um, as well as those little nicks there but I mean, they said I'll be doing fiberglass work anywho um, so getting these worked out when I get to this portion uh, should be uh, not an issue, but did sustain damage, or at least the crate did. Um, so those of you who are getting your kit, um, I know it's a common one. I think Plain Lady had a pretty catastrophic uh, issue with hers uh, where it truly did cause issues, did cause damage. But uh, this here appears to be good. Um, so ready to move forward. So inventory done. Get back to work on these wings. Get these filled out, finished. Uh, then we can jump on into the fuselage. So made it this far. Thank you so much for watching uh, Again, if you have any Question comment concerns or anything as far as what I talked about any feedback there Please comment down below. Let me know, uh, but we'll see you in the next video. Adios